So you get a flat tire on the side of the road and you want to change it, um, it's probably going to be raining and it's cold as possible. Um, so uh, what, I, what I usually do quick, um, number one, get your, get your hubcap off. Some of them, these will actually screw the hubcap on. Other ones, like the, like the cheapy ones I have, have like a spring around the outside edge that you just you, you pull on and it'll come off. So usually I grab it on both sides. You can break these too. Not, not, not really, but if you pry it really hard, you can pop something off. Uh, just give it a good tug straight off, it'll come off. Before you jack the car up in the air, you're going to want to loosen your lug nuts, right? Um, and uh, I lost, lost mine. Um, they give you a weird little, uh, like, like, sheet metal socket or something like that to, um, to pop these off with. Um, what works really well for me and what, what makes this pretty quick, I'll stick it so it's roughly horizontal, um, and then you just kick it. So give it a good kick, and it'll loosen up. And you do, that, you do that to all four of them. Don't go all the way, just a little bit. Remember, there's a bunch of weight on this still. You don't want the tire to fall off on you, okay? So give it a good kick. You can do that to all four. And once they're, once they're loose a little bit, remember there's, the tire will try to kind of fall off this way depending on what kind of hill you're on. Um, so once they're loose and you, you can get them by hand like that, don't go too far, you know that they'll be loose enough for you to take them off um, once the car is up in the air. So you see um, right by the tire on the front on this one, you'll see the pinch weld here. And then there's a little spot that drops down and there's a maybe a two or three inch section um, with a little bit thicker sheet metal in there. Some of them have a couple rolls, like I said, or folds, but you can definitely tell the difference uh, between the, the body pinch weld, which will probably crush this, uh, damage the car. So you definitely want to definitely want to go, go where they say to lift the vehicle from. There'll be one on the front, and usually one on the back. You can see the, the back is right here. So here's that pinch weld again, and there's that thicker section where you're going to put your jack. So line your notch up with that section there. Make sure you're on pretty flat ground. You don't want to be on something soft or mushy. Um, and if you start jacking this up and you, and you watch the jack kind of starting to lean to one side or sort of fall over, stop, reposition it, and start over again. So you crank it up. And remember, we've already loosened these bolts. So you, you want to just get up high enough to get the tire off the ground. And usually, usually the spare is undersized. So you don't have to go all the way up with the jack. You'll see now my tire is rotating freely. So since I, I broke all these loose while it was on the ground, now these are going to be easy to get off. Sometimes if you have an aluminum rim, the rim will actually kind of stick to the hub. Um, you do not need to take this center bolt off. This is usually, this is an axle nut. Uh, this does not hold the tire on. I've seen a lot of people, uh, when the tire got stuck, they would try to take the axle nut off. And, uh, I'd be surprised if you could do it on the side of the road anyway. Usually they're torqued down pretty tight. Anyways, what I usually will do, this is, uh, this is a, uh, I've had it off on and off a couple times already. Um, but what I'll usually do is just uh, kind of turn around, take my foot, and kick really hard at the, on the top of the tire, and you'll see it kind of fall off, which is another reason why you want to make sure that this thing is kind of on stable ground. If that falls off and your jack gets, gets pinched under there, it's pretty tough to lift the car up to get your jack out. So um, make sure you're not doing that. Uh, but it will come off. Give it a good couple kicks. I've had some tires that were really hard to get off. Um, I think I had a couple bigger friends that were a little stronger than me and can get them off. But normally, especially on a steel rim, it'll just pop right off. You might maybe have to tap it once. Okay. Um, I'm actually not. This is not a flat tire. I'm putting on my snow tires. So um, I did have to jack that up a little bit more since my snow tires are slightly bigger. They got a little bit more tread on them. Um, so it is not. It is possible to not dirty your clothes while you're doing this. So to get the the rim on, what helps a lot is look at the stud and then look at the hole in the tire. Or, or sorry, look at the hole in the rim. So what you want to do is pick up your uh, spare tire and rim and look through one of the holes at one of the studs. And as you're doing that, it'll help you line it up. 
they'll go right on rather than trying to struggle there, especially if you're trying not to kneel on the ground because you've got a suit on. Because you only get flat tires when you're when you have a suit on or a white shirt. Um, and don't just throw your lug nuts in, in the socket and tighten them on. Uh, you want to start them by hand first, and a lot of times they're not ratcheting or anything like that, so this is just a faster way anyways. Um, a lot of times the rim isn't sitting completely flat, it'll kind of just hang at an angle. Push the rim against the hub, and that'll allow you to crank these in even farther. It'll, it'll save you a lot of turns when, you have, when you're doing one at a time with your, with your weird socket that they give you. Okay, so you need to just touch them off by hand, and that's it. When you're gonna, we're gonna drop the car down, and we're gonna tighten it when it's on the ground. Because again, if you try to tighten it right now, the tire's just gonna spin, and it's you're gonna be doing one of these, and it's uh, you don't get as you get the bolts as tight. Another thing you want to do is make sure you tighten them enough um, or, or not too much. So a lot of cars, especially smaller ones like this, are let's say around 90 foot-pounds, 100 foot-pounds in that general range. Um, it doesn't have to be super, super uh, exact, but what, what foot-pounds means is that at, if, if my ratchet was exactly one foot long, I would, I would put one pound out here and that would put one foot-pound of torque on that nut. So let's just say I'm going to estimate uh, I want to put about a hundred foot-pounds on each one of these bolts um, So what I want to do is put a decent amount of my body weight on this uh, as I'm tightening it up And it's probably it's a little better to go. I would say it's a little better to go a little higher than a little low um, And you want to tighten everything you want to tighten these down uh, If you have a five lug or, or a four lug like this you just go opposite to opposite So I'm starting on the bottom right hand side and we'll go up to the top left hand side and I go to the bottom left and then to the top right. And I usually go around again and I'm really gonna tighten these down now. So I'm gonna put about, what I feel is about 100 pounds of force down on, on my, my ratchet, because it's about a foot long, so. Okay. Then we'll check them all. In case you got an eight lug or something crazy like that, I just go right around in a circle to make sure I do get all of them. And that's all there is to it. Uh, also, oh, one last thing actually. When you're putting your hub cap back on, you notice a little notch right here. See that guy? That's for your valve stem, for where you put air in the tire. So you want to make sure you line that up with the valve stem on the tire, otherwise it's going to be, number one, you might not get this seated on all the way, it might be sitting underneath this thing all weird. And number two, you won't be able to put air in it if it's underneath your hubcap. You'll have to take your hubcap off to add air. Let me just show you this. And now, while I got this off too, this is that spring type. You'll see like a, a metal spring around the outside edge or just a little piece of round wire kind of. Um, that helps keep pressure outwards on these little uh, little tabs here. And that holds the hubcap on. You want to make sure this is seated all the way on and right. Otherwise, you're going to have three hubcaps when you get home. Um, a lot of people don't have full-size spares anyway, so you just toss this in the truck. 